Tenner. I'm the author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. Today, I want to talk about training the Cocker Spaniel. Cocker Spaniels, great little dogs, and they're very popular. A lot of people get Cocker Spaniels because they do good with kids. Cocker Spaniel can live in an apartment, can live in the house. And the thing that I've seen with Cocker Spaniels, two big problems that I see, the, the first problem is that a lot of Cocker Spaniels will do what's called submissive urination. Somebody bends over them, or they say hi, and the puppy pees all over the place. So to overcome that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your homecomings are very low key. Uh, a Cocker Spaniel that doesn't have good control over its bladder will you know respond to somebody coming in the door and they're getting all excited and they just start peeing all over the place and they also get nervous as they said when somebody stands over them because they're looking up the person's coming into their space they lose control so you want to try to get your cocker spaniels used to these things the other thing is that cocker spaniels need to get groomed on a regular basis think about it, for the rest of your cocker's life he's going to have to or she's going to have to get groomed so Every day, you should spend a little bit of time taking a brush, going through their fur, checking their ears, looking at their ears, their tail, paying close attention to their paws, get them used to these types of things. This way, when your Cocker Spaniel does go to the groomer, it'll make it much, much easier for the groomer and you won't have to pay extra because they got to fuss and you know, have three people holding your dog while they're grooming them. So, and like any other dog, you want to make sure that you socialize from an early age, and then you want to establish leadership, and you also want to train using positive reinforcement. Cocker Spaniels tend to be a little bit on the sensitive side. They're not, you know, you know, a little bit of hey, or, you know, anything, and they, they tend to get a little sensitive, so you don't have to get harsh or heavy handed. You can use positive reinforcement and pretty much train all the commands using just that. So, thanks for watching this video, and good luck with your Cocker Spaniels. Thank you.